Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create your own cup of cafe mocha topped with your own custom image made from chocolate syrup. You can apply these techniques to any high contrast image including text and clip art. I included this image for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video description or project files. If you're using a photo of someone, we need to convert it into pure black and white with no continuous tones. The techniques we're going to use after converting it will be the same whether you're using photos, clip art, or text. Your original photo can be color or black and white. If it's in color, desaturate it by pressing Ctrl Shift U on Windows or Command Shift U on a Mac. We need to create a selection around the head to cut it out from its background. There are many ways to do this and I cover them in my tutorials. For this example, I'll use the Quick Selection tool with a size of 20 pixels. If you're using this tool as well, you may want to use a different number depending on your photo's resolution. Drag your tool over your subject making sure your background isn't included. Make sure your foreground and background colors are black and white respectively. If they aren't, press D on your keyboard. Press Q to convert the selection into a quick mask. Open your pencil tool, choose a medium point size, and make the hardness 100%. Draw a line following the contours under the chin. Open your paint bucket tool, and click under the chin to fill it in. I generally like to click again to ensure that it's completely filled in. Press Q again to revert it back into a selection. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut the face out from its background and copy it to its own layer. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Posterize. Make the levels 2 and click OK. To smooth and simplify it, go to Filter, Noise, and Median. I'll make the radius 7 pixels, however, depending on the resolution of your photo, you may want to change this number. Click OK or press Enter or Return. To enhance this effect, press Ctrl or Command F to repeat the filter. Double click on the thumbnail of the face to open its layer style window. Click Stroke. For the resolution of this image, I'll make the size 12 pixels. Make the stroke's position inside, then click OK. We want to make a new layer below the active layer. To do this, Control click or Command click on the new layer icon. We'll fill the empty layer with white, and since white is the background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. At this point, you should see a stark black shape on a white background. This is the same as black and white clip art. To separate the black areas from the white background, make the face layer active, and go to Select and Color Range. Select Highlights and click OK or press Enter or Return. We now have a selection that surrounds everything that's white. Press the Delete key on your keyboard, which deletes the white areas. When I hide the other layers in the Layers panel, you can see that we now have just a black shape on a transparent background. To get it into the Coffee Cup document, press V on your keyboard to open your Move tool, and drag your image onto the tab of the coffee cup document. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and release. Press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. To see the transform's entire bounding box, press Ctrl or Command 0. To resize the black shape, go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, Press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in. Then position it over the coffee cup. To see your document at 100%, press Ctrl or Command plus 1. If you're using text, 
use the same steps that we'll be using from this point forward. Continue to resize it until it fits comfortably inside the coffee cup. To angle it, go to a corner, and when you see a curved double arrow, rotate it to an angle you like. Then press Enter or Return. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel and click OK or press Enter or Return. Go to Layer, Rasterize, and Layer Style. This fuses the stroke with the face. Now, any new layer styles we'll be adding to it will be applied to the stroke as well. Double click on the thumbnail to open the layer style window. Click Color Overlay and the color box. Type in a rich chocolate color, 3C2310. Then, click OK or press Enter or Return on both windows. Next, we'll convert the face into a smart object. This will allow us to modify it non-destructively, as well as ultimately replace it with another image without having to redo all the effects. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel, and click Convert to Smart Object. Change its Blend Mode to Linear Burn, and go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. This time, Blur it 4 pixels. We want to change the Blur's Blend Mode. To do this, double-click the icon to the right of Gaussian Blur. This opens the Blur's Blending options. Change the Blend Mode to Screen. Then click OK. Open your Transform tool. You may see this message that tells us that the Smart Filters will be temporarily turned off while the transform is being previewed. This is fine, so click OK. We're going to angle it in order to correctly apply the next filter. You'll see why we're doing this in a minute. Go to a corner and press and hold Shift as you rotate it clockwise until it snaps 90 degrees. It'll snap to the angle because we're pressing Shift. Then press Enter or Return. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Artistic folder and click Plastic Wrap. The highlight strength is 7, the detail is 15, and the smoothness is 4. Notice the angle of the highlight is pointing toward the top of the head, which is what we want it to do and why we angle the head in this direction. Click OK to accept it. To retain the highlight's angle, Convert the layer into another smart object. Zoom out of your document by pressing Ctrl or Command plus the minus key on your keyboard. Open your Transform tool. Go to a corner and rotate it counterclockwise 90 degrees. Fit it back on your canvas and position your image over the coffee. Notice the highlight has retained its angle of pointing down toward the top of the head, which matches the light source of the background. Double-click on the empty space inside Layer 1 to open its Layer Style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. Change the style to Emboss. The technique is smooth, the depth is 50%, and the direction is up. The size is 6 pixels, and soften it 6 pixels. Uncheck Global Light. Make the angle minus 90 degrees, and the altitude 42 degrees. Make the highlight mode Linear Dodge. Then click OK. Next, we'll add an organic ripple to the shape. Go to Filter, Distort, and zigzag. Feel free to experiment with the styles and settings, however, for this example, I'll use Out From Center, minus 10 for the amount, and 20 for the ridges. Lastly, I'd like to reduce its saturation and increase the lightness. Click the Adjustment Layer icon, and click Hue Saturation. 
click the clipping mask icon. This restricts the adjustment layer to affect just the one layer beneath it in the Layers panel. Slide the saturation all the way to the left and make the lightness 20. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.